Okay, I think we are ready to go. I'd like to welcome everybody to another week of Fit X exercise and a snack on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, we just got done shoveling um, eight to 10 inches of snow what? off of, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy here. Um, it's 75 here in Virginia. So oh, you know, I know. I know. <laughs> it's beautiful here. <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful here, but we have a ton of snow with um, another 12 to 18 inches expected over the weekend. So lots wow. of snow here. Um, they were saying though places in Colorado could get like 90 inches of snow out of this next. So that's like seven feet, which is crazy. Wow. So um, I think we'll kick it over. April's going to um, do some exercises with us. And then when we're done with our FedEx mile, we'll switch over to Glenn and get some healthy snack ideas. So April, it's all you. All right. So uh, let me start my timer and get this going too. I don't know why this isn't starting. Oh. All right. There we go. Okay, so we are gonna do a full body exercise today. Please, please, please keep in mind that you modify to what you need. So I'm gonna make some modification suggestions, but you do you, whatever you need. I, you know, the other day I didn't warm up and I ended up hurting my knee. So I'm gonna be using a pillow to put my knees on because they're killing me. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go ahead and warm up. So I want you to go ahead and Let's do some arm circles for me. Kind of swimming along here. <laughs> and this is gonna be, we're gonna be doing um, upper body and also some lower body legs. And we are gonna be on the floor. And all right, let's rotate around the other way. So swim backwards <laughs> or forwards, whichever other way you were going. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now what I'd like for you to do, if you can, balance with me. If you can't, that's okay. You can always somewhat balance with your other leg, but balance with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach forward and come back. Alternate to the other leg. So same thing if you need to, just kind of like a, like a flamingo. <laughs> and then you can reach forward and I'm gonna do the modification and come back. So it's more of just putting a weight on one leg. So again, reach forward, come back. One more time on the other side. Reach forward, come back. Perfect. So go ahead and jump on the ground with me. We're gonna warm up our ankles a little bit and stretch our legs some. So go ahead and you can put your hands on your hips, move forward, sort of wiggle your ankle in front a little bit and move back. So move your hips forward, bend that knee a little in front, extend the other leg, move your ankle, kind of squishing it into the ground, your foot, you're squishing it in the ground and move back. Perfect. So go ahead and alternate to the other leg. So put your other leg up and then you're gonna move forward squish that foot in and sort of rotate your ankle around and then move back. Perfect. You're going to do that one more time. So move forward, rotate that ankle probably in the other direction if you can. Just kind of waking up those phalanges in there <laughs> and move back. Perfect. All right. So now what I'd like for you to do is we're going to warm up our shoulders a little bit. We did those swims, but I'd like for you to go ahead and come to all fours for me. And I'd like for you to just tap your shoulder, the opposite shoulder. So use one arm and tap the opposite shoulder. So we're just kind of balancing on one hand. So it's real important to make sure that that hand is underneath your shoulder to support you. Perfect. Just warming up those shoulders a little bit. All right. Excellent, so come on up with me. And now we are just gonna kind of get those legs moving up and down a little bit here. So march in place with me, please. 
Get those arms swinging. We're gonna get the heart rate going a little bit. Excellent. Very good. Awesome. Let's go side to side. So side to side, swing those arms. Perfect. Very, very good. So swinging those arms side to side, touching those toes. <laughs> very good. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna warm up our quads here. So this is a little tricky. And again, it's gonna be balancing on one leg, but keep in mind, modification, always keep those toes down and just predominantly put the weight on the one leg. So that's a modification. So if you can, try to balance. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, like we were doing for our warm up, we're gonna stretch out. But what I'd like for you to do is dip down a little bit. So make sure that you, your, knee, or your toes never go past your knee. <laughs> your knee never go past your toes. Dip down a little bit, balance on that leg, bring yourself as straight as possible. If you need to put that toe down, but you can really feel right in your leg. There's a lot of tension going on with your muscles because we're balancing on that and then come back. Perfect. So really dip down as far as you can. Again, you can put your toes down if you need to. The advance is to balance and come back. Perfect. Let's try it on the other leg. So we're just going to dip down a little bit. So lean forward. The knee should never come past your toes. And get down a little bit, straighten. So you're, you're, um, you should be looking a little bit in front of you and bring it back. So I'm showing you the modification because my knee's a little wonky, but advanced is of course to go out, balance, hold it, really feel it in your quad and come back. Perfect. Very good. Go ahead and walk it out for me. Excellent. Very good. So next we're gonna go ahead and do some lunges. And of course it's up to you for how far you can go down, um, but hands on the hips, hands on the hips. And you can either, I like to personally go back and down, but of course you can lunge forward if that's more comfortable. For me, it's not. <laughs> so I like to do a backwards lunge. So we go back and nice and straight back and up, good. So down, nice and straight back and up for two. Down and up, down and up for four. Good, all right, walk it out. Perfect. All right, so we'll switch to the other leg. So again, you know, nice and straight back, you're gonna go down. Really feel it in your quad muscle and up. Good. Down. And up. Down. Whoop. And up. See, I got to improve my, my uh, straight back here. <laughs> my form. Very good. All right. So go ahead and march it out for me. Excellent. Very good. So now we're going to get a little more advanced with that. And we are actually gonna go and balance, but keep in mind, again, you can always use your toes to balance on, but we're gonna go and we're gonna kick up and go down again into the front like a lunge. So again, that's kick up and down to a lunge. Perfect. Other side. So advanced is kick up. But if you'd like, you can always keep that toe down and go down to a forward lunge. Perfect. Here we go one more time. Kick up and down to a forward lunge. Awesome. Very good. Go ahead and march those legs for me. Woo! Get warm. Pop on my fan. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and do some squats real quick. So if you'd like, you can keep your hands out. You can cross them over your chest, or I like to put them right here next to my a little kind of like, you know, knuckles <laughs> next to my face. It really helps me feel balanced. And what we're gonna do 
about a little more than shoulder width apart with our legs. Remember, knees never go past your toes. Very nice straight back. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit back and come back up. So you're really using your, your gluteus maximus muscles back there. So you come down, squeeze those bum muscles back up. <laughs> come down, squeeze back up. Come down, hold it with me. So hold it. <laughs> Perfect. Hold it. Squeeze back up. Excellent. Kind of wiggle it out about a minute. And then we're going to go back down and squeeze back up. Perfect. One more time. Here we go. Back down. Hold it. Hold it with me. Nice straight back. And back up. There we go. All right. March it out for me. Good job. Awesome. Okay. So we are now going to get on the floor to do some push ups. Modification. I'm going to do it on my knees. If you're confident, do it a regular push up. No knees on the floor. Pump them out, please. <laughs> but I'm going to use a pillow for my knees. Jump on the floor here. So a push up, real important. A lot of people do them like this with their. <laughs> with their kind of like chicken arms out here, it's actually really important to keep those elbows tight and close to your body. So you wanna feel like your hands are just about underneath your shoulders and you're keeping those elbows nice and close to your body while you're doing those push-ups. So here we go. All right, we're gonna go down and up. Down, hold it for a second and up. Down, hold it for a second, and back up. We're gonna do two more, you got this. Down, hold it, and back up. One more, down, and back up. Good. I love push-ups. They are such an all arm workout. You got your back muscles, you got chest, wonderful. Go ahead and do a little slow body twist for me. Perfect. Next, we're going to do some tricep dips. So you can put that pillow off to the side. Jump on your bum for me. And just put your feet flat on the ground. Legs uh, sort of bent a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place your palms behind you. It's up to you. I actually like putting my fingers facing my bottom. And that really helps with the tricep dip but if it's more comfortable, you can splay them out to the side or if it works better for you, you just figure out what works best for you. But I like putting my fingertips towards my bottom. And what you do is you just come up a little bit. So you're using your hamstrings to kind of tighten a little bit. You bring your bottom up off the ground and then you go down and dip and up. Down and dip and back up down and dip, good, and back up, down and dip, back up one more, we're going to go down, dip, and back up, good, oh, I love those, Woo, they really work, <laughs> so let's go ahead and do some ab work really fast, and we're going to go down, and lay on your back, nice bent knees, I think you can still see me, <laughs> Move up a little bit. All right. So nice bent knees and whatever works for you. But what I'd like for you to do, keep your chin a little bit away from your chest. So nice and tall chin. And you can put your hands behind your head or if you'd like, you can put them across your shoulders. But what you're doing is you're really working your abs. So make sure that your, that your lower back doesn't leave the ground, okay? So you're gonna go up squeeze those abs and back down. Up, squeeze, squeeze and hold, <laughs> and back down. Perfect, up and squeeze, and back down, excellent. Up and squeeze, 
and back down. Good. One more time. Here we go. Up and squeeze. And back down. Awesome. All right. So go ahead and roll up with me. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cool down a little bit. So I'd like for you to go ahead and march in place for me. Nice and slow. Good. Perfect. Since we work those shoulders, I'd like for you to go ahead and do the swimming exercise again. So keep marching and get those shoulders rotating. Excellent. All right, rotate the other way. Do some backstroke. <laughs> Very good. Good, good. All right, and go ahead and turn to one way and turn to the other side. Perfect, turn back one more time and to the other side. There we go, perfect. So keep marching for me, excellent. All right, so what I'd like for you to do is stand. If you need to grab onto an object, rotate those ankles one way. If you'd like, you can throw in the wrist and then put that down and exchange to the other side. Oop. Go ahead and rotate and then switch the other direction. Perfect, and there we go. That's your 15 minute workout. Woo! On to that food demonstration. All right, let me get one my uh, video fix. Also, we're gonna be talking a little bit about uh, food safety here, so I should probably wash my hands after we've been on the ground. Give me 30 seconds. All right, so hopefully everybody can see this cutting board pretty well. Um, so we have a very simple recipe today. Um, so we're going to use this opportunity to actually talk a little bit about food safety, knife safety, some food groups, um, particularly talk about when you are trying to encourage children or youth to, to eat healthier and have healthier snacks. This is a great um, opportunity for them. I know when we partnered with the 4-H program, there's a lot of 4-H kids absolutely love this snack, um, but we're going to show you how to make a yogurt parfait. So first thing you're going to need is a couple of your favorite fruits. I've already pre-washed these and I've already peeled these or peeled and uh, had half of a banana there. Um, so in terms of knife safety, um, and again, this is going to be something that you can teach kids for the first time. A um, couple of things you want to do is one, your fingers need to be in whenever you're holding anything. In fact, one of the phrases that 4-H loves to use, they call this the bear claw. Okay, your fingers in, it looks like a bear claw. So we're going to have our fingers in. Um, now, admittedly, I have a plastic knife here, and I will admit the reason I have a plastic knife is we just moved into our office before the pandemic. Um, this is the first time I've tried to look for one of our real knives in a year, and I have no idea where it is. Um, but these safety tips are particularly important if you have a real knife. So we're gonna work and pretend this is a real knife. Um, you want the tip of the blade to stay on the cutting board. So we don't want real high chops like this. Remember your fingers are in. Uh, we're gonna cut the end of the strawberry off first. Nice and easy. Then we're gonna cut it in half. And this is not as important for strawberries as it is for other bigger fruits or bigger produce. But important thing is whenever you're cutting something that's round, First, you cut it in half and you flip it on its flat side. So you're cutting something on its round side, what happens, particularly if it's something bigger, you're trying to hold it, it's moving around, you could end up cutting your fingers. So you always want to flip it and cut it, on its, uh, cut it on its flat side. So again, fingers in, tip of the blade down, nice easy cuts there. And same thing with banana, I'm gonna cut these up. And again, blade staying down, not coming up really high, fingers are in. Great practice for kids that have never used real knives before. If they're old enough and you trust them with a real knife, make sure you instruct them on those. Those are probably the two most important things. Fingers in and knife stays nice and low. All right. Next 
thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a little bit of yogurt here. So this is our dairy. Um, I've got some low fat vanilla for this. Um, I'm just gonna, for the sake of this, have just a few spoonfuls in here. And again, as we mentioned uh, food groups, you know, with your healthy snack, what you really wanna look for is having a, a healthy serving of at least one food group. In this, we're getting a good serving of dairy, fruit, and we're actually gonna have a little bit of whole grain, which I'll talk about later. So we've got our cup of dairy here, or not cup, but we have our serving of yogurt here. I'm just gonna put my fruits on top. Mix them up a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little granola in here. Again, this is where looking at nutrition and thinking of nutrition facts can be really beneficial. Um, when you look at granola, you can have a wide range. Some have a ton of added sugar. Some don't have too much added sugar. Some are great sources of protein. Some are not. Some have a ton of whole grain. Some have very little. Um, so be sure to read that nutrition facts label. Try and get something that's a good source of protein and or fiber um, and try, not, try to find one that doesn't add too much sugar. Um, and speaking of which, I found a great one that has coconut and almonds, which I'm very excited about. We're gonna get a little bit of our whole grains in here. Just gonna add a couple spoonfuls, not too much. There is our very pretty looking yogurt parfait. Let's see if I can get this up so it looks a little better. There you go. All right, and like I said, nice and simple. It's something the kids can do, something they can learn a little bit about nutrition, nice safety, food safety, um, and it can encourage them to do more healthy snacking. All right, and now I am done. All right, thanks, Glenn. Um, I know Denise is actually gonna teach us how to make a homemade granola um, for our next snack um, in a couple of weeks. So. Um, that'll be a fun one to combine with your snack today. Um, and, and Glenn, I'm excited about the coconut granola too. Anything with coconut is a-okay. I'll tell you in about five minutes how good it is. <laughs> so with that, I think we'll sign off on Facebook today. We invite everybody to join us again next Wednesday the 17th at 1.30 for another FedEx mile and a snack. So 1.30 Mountain Time, 3.30 Eastern Time. I always forget I need to include the Eastern Time on that. And everybody better be wearing green. Yes, and it is St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully we'll be celebrating a little bit of St. Patrick's Day as we do our FedEx mile and snack. So with that, we will see everybody um, next week and if they can join the find the recording on facebook or it is also on our youtube channel um for the university of wyoming extension so i can share it that way if anybody is looking for it as well